Welcome to the next episode of Your Christmas Coach. It's finally here. Today we're in a bookshop, and the reason is I want to share with you some of the best secrets to becoming witty. Because when you develop your wit, you'll find that you can create great first impressions with the people you meet. And if you create a great first impression, the rest of the conversation is going to go really well anyway. So the secret to developing your wit is to first of all realize that when you're in busy public spaces, the most boring thing you can say is something like this. <coughs> Do you like books? Do you like books? Or like this. Have you read any good books lately? The reason is because there's no originality, there's no fun going on there. So how we inject the fun is first of all, we find a really comfy place, we sit down and we take a notepad and a pen. And what we do is we look around, we look at all the bored looking people, reading books, sitting down reading books and whatnot, and think, what could I say to them in this situation that would be really funny? Now, it doesn't have to be really funny for them, it has to be really funny for you. Because when it makes you smile, that's great. So sit down, have a look around, take your notepad and pen, and have a think. Now the first thing I can guarantee you is, you'll probably come up with nothing to say. Your mind will be blank. That's completely normal. What most people do is they give up on this. What you need to do is be patient. The very first time this is going to take a while to do. So sit there and look and look and look. So, there's a lady who's reading a book. What can we say there? Maybe, I see you stealing all the words out of that book for free. That makes me smile inside, so I'm going to write that one down. What I need you to do now is write a list down until you get five or ten. That might take you a while to do, but stick with it, don't give up. So, once you've got your list, now's the time to try it out. Now, it doesn't really matter if you try it out and the people you do it to laugh and share in the wit. What we're more interested in is that you're expressing yourself. Rather than trying to create a great impression, you're creating a great expression. So what you want to do is make this list. Now the very first time I did it, it took me like an hour and a half, two hours to do before I even got seven or eight things on my list. So be prepared, it's going to take a while, but the more you do it, the quicker you get. To the point where you don't even need the lists anymore, you can just come up with it on the fly. Because really this is an exercise in sharpening your mental faculties in developing wit. So, without further ado, let's give some of these a try and see what happens. Excuse me. I've um, just been reading How to Draw Dogs in 15 minutes. And I just wondered what you thought, if it was something I should keep focusing on. Or... Mm. Yeah. So let's see how my co-trainer Richard gets on with this. Do you have the package? I'm sorry, do you have the package? <laughs> no, I don't. A bark, covers blown, covers blown. One and gold there, mate. A bit behind, it's full of box. If you're looking for a Valentine's card, yeah. um, probably this is what I'd go for. Yes, me too. No, no, no. Are you, you could be judging these books by their covers by any chance. <laughs> okay, yeah, I thought so. Hmm. Get this book about you. It's all gobbledygook. Oh. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like that looks much better. Like, I can understand that one. Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. You know what? That makes so much more sense. Are you secretly stealing all that for free? Pardon? So are you secretly stealing all that for free? Oh, yeah. Oh, brilliant. My favourite is Watchmen. Uh... The Watchmen? Yeah. I like Free for Vendetta. That's that good one. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like the old ones, the old ones, but, you know. The Adam Moore ones? Yeah, yeah. I'd love to get this to wait for the movie. I just wonder what you thought. <laughs> um, I haven't even heard of it, so I Oh, really? <laughs> not, not a dictionary? <laughs> yeah, it's but... It's really famous. <laughs> the dictionary. Yeah. 
the, the author, I'm not sure who the author is, but um, I think it's got a few. Yeah, probably, yeah. Well, Melvin Bagg, he's good at He wrote the whole dictionary. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so you saw a variety of reactions there. The main point of that exercise is to sharpen your mind for coming up with things to say. And as soon as you get something that makes you feel an emotion, go and share it with somebody. Get used to writing things down. If the moment's passed and you see someone you could have spoken to and you didn't, have a sit down. Come up with at least five things you could have said. So the next time you're in a very similar situation, your subconscious will immediately switch into gear and you'll come up with something amazing to say. That's all for now. I'll speak to you shortly. I've, I've, I've had an experience like that. That's the kind of experience that's going on inside right now, right? Right. Now, of course, I made you very self-conscious about this whole thing. <laughs> uh, and Tell of course, wrong. Exactly. And, and that's one of the, 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 the downsides. Once you know this initially, you'll get a little self-conscious because...